Hello everybody, it's J.B. Michaels. Uh, I am so happy to be back um, in The Traveler, ready to do another book signing. Uh, finally, this time during the Swedish Days Festival, which, you know, last year I wrote the book in the hope that maybe there would be a Swedish Days. That did not happen. Everything got shut down. But that is okay, because it's happening this year. And here is the uh, great book that I uh, wrote um, that takes place in and around the Swedish days uh, in Geneva, Illinois. Um, of course, it's part of the Mac and Millie mystery series. So I just wanted to read an excerpt uh, before I see you guys from noon to three on the 26th for a book signing. So here we go. Chapter 11. Millie picked up the pace, but she had plenty of time. Her current location put her two blocks from the garbage can on the corner of Campbell and Third Street. She preferred not to run and to draw attention to herself with five minutes to spare. She could see the center tower of the Kane County Courthouse. Many people walked the sidewalks both in front and behind her. The comforting, relaxing tones of a gently beat steel drum set sounded from the concert tent set up in the street in front of the courthouse. A very pleasant atmosphere. If only she were in a better situation with Mac at her side, Hopefully, he would be soon, very soon. However, there was no guarantee the sinister kidnapper would simply give Mac back. There could be another task for her to accomplish, another crime to commit. This could drag on all night and into the next few days, worst case scenario. Millie carried an empty cash bag with four other bags inside of it. In addition to the bag of cash stuffed in her, stuffed in her purse, the ambient glow of the yellow street lamps and the crowded streets masked her peculiar cargo. The good witch walked to the corner. The permanent black cast iron trash can lay only a few paces away. She wanted to look as nonchalant and natural as possible when depositing the bags. Hopefully, no nosy people would observe her uh, as she made the deposit. The steel drums picked up their pace, almost as if mirroring her pulse. The crowd in the tent and out on the sloped lawn in front of the courthouse started to cheer. Millie reached the can and dropped the bags inside, then pulled out the thick cash bag and placed it in. She made sure to push the detritus lower than the bags further down into the can. Her heart pumped almost out of her chest. She forced herself to switch from short, shallow breaths to deep breaths, with the goal of driving down her anxiety and the bile that bubbled in her stomach like a boiling cauldron. Now what? She looked around for any sign of Mac. Should she walk away? Stay here, she had no further instruction. 